All right, now here is the hamstring work that I promised you. I'm gonna keep it short and sweet because I feel like you're not gonna do it if I make it too long. So I'm giving you four exercises and then I'll talk to you this week um, and see how it's doing and we'll see if we need to change anything. All right, this first one you already know, we've done it before. You're gonna lay yourself down. You're gonna take some sort of a ball, put it right here in your hip crease. You're gonna use the front of your leg to drive down into that ball as much as you can. And um, for the sake of time, let's just do this this week on the leg that's hurt, okay? So pull down into the ball, find as much as you can, as much drive down into this ball as you can, and then keep all of that. So this is an active stretch. So now you're gonna start trying to straighten, in the, straighten this leg away, and you should feel it. I want you to come right to the edge of where you have the pain, Hold it right there for about five seconds and then bend your leg back down and come out of it in your hamstring. Make the front side of your leg squeeze tighter so we're and you're keeping your bottom down on the ground. So we're trying to find as much extension as we can get on the back side of the leg by being as deep in deflection as you can on the front side. And then again, you're gonna extend up, come right to the edge of where you feel that strain you've got Hold it for about five seconds, come back out of it. You're gonna go one more time. If you can pull any tighter down into it, don't let your bottom come off the ground. Keep all that tension there and only straighten your leg as much as you can to come right to the edge. Hold it right there. And then bring your leg back down. All right, that's the first one. The second one is we're gonna lift up, hold it up, and now we're gonna walk the feet out. We're not gonna let the hips go down. You should feel the hamstrings really working. And you're only going as far as you can without hurting the one that's already hurt. So remember what I said, we're trying to strengthen. So now you're gonna come back in. And when you come back in, keep your hips up and pull in as tight as you can get. Lift up, try to hold that space walk them out again. Try not to let your hips go down. That hamstring, the one that you've hurt, you should really be feeling it. It's having to work to stabilize you. That's what we want. We want the stabilizers to get strong again for when you need to run. And then you're going to do one more. Back in. Bring it down. Okay, then this next one, we're gonna look back up into a bridge, but we're gonna combine both things that we just did. So coming into the, your greatest hip flexion and then holding that. And then lift your leg, you lift your hips up, and now keep this and try to stretch this open. So we're in extension now, okay? That's why the hips are lifted. Come right to the edge of where it hurts, hold about five seconds, bend it. Drop your hips down. We're gonna do two more. Pull this as tight as you can get it before you lift up so that your hips don't come out of the extension, okay? Then lift up and then extend. Don't let your hips go down. Bend it back in, drop your hips down. Squeeze as much as you can out. Lift up as high as you can get and then extend, and down. All right, last one, you're gonna stand up. You're gonna use a glider for the back foot or just use your socks and be on a slick surface. You're gonna support yourself. We're gonna have the heel up on this front leg and we're gonna slide this one back and away. Again, right to the edge of where you feel the pain. And then don't make this hurt hamstring help you back up. Use the wall to bring yourself back up. And do four more, okay? Dig down, slide back, this hamstring, the one that you've hurt, should be working here. Hold about five seconds and then use some.
something to support yourself to come back up. Three more. Here we go. stretching at all. That's not what I mean. I'm just saying that stretching is not enough because what you did to strain it was stretch it too far. So now we have to go to either end of where you strained it and we have to start strengthening those little muscle fibers back until the whole thing is one again and strong. Okay? All right, see you this week.